Welcome to video K5. We're going to explore a shortcut for finding uh, trailing zeros. Here's the problem. 78 factorial ends in a string of zeros. How many zeros are in the string? I'm going to do it both the old way and then develop a shortcut which will be helpful uh, in future problems. All right, so the old way, 78 factorial, let's just all, I'll list all the factors of 5. Um, so 75 would be the first one. So 75, 70, 65, 60, 55, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, and 5. Uh, again, there's going to be plenty of factors of 2. We're only concerned about the factors of 5. So 75 actually has two factors of 5. 70 has 1, 65 has 1, 60 has 1, 50 has two factors of 5, 5, 5, 5, five. 25 has two factors of 5, 1, 1, 1, and 1. All right, so just to uh, emphasize, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I've got 15 numbers that had at least one factor of 5. Um, then I had 3 which had uh, which were divisible by 25. So um, and they had one more factor of 5. So 15 plus 3 makes a total of 18. So that's how to do it the, um, the way that I showed you before, just counting out and seeing what's going on. Now let me show you the shortcut, which is going to be helpful if I give you a problem like 5,000 factorial. You're not going to want to make this list. All right, so for the shortcut, all we're going to do is keep dividing by 5. So here we go. 75. I'm going to divide it by 5 to see how many um, factors of 5 there are. It goes in there 15 times. Oh, those were my 15 numbers that had a factor of 5. Then I'm going to take that and divide that by 5. And I get 3. Oh, that corresponds to the factors of 25, which gives you the additional 5. So again, this is the factors of 5. This is the factors of 25. And if I had a bigger number, I could keep going up and up and up. This was 5 to the 1, 5 squared, 5 cubed, 125, 5 to the 4, 625, etc. So what's important to do is just add those two numbers. So 15 plus 3 equals 18. And that's much shorter than having to write everything out. So there you have it how to uh, use a shortcut to find the number of trailing zeros in a factorial problem.